My name's Lisa. I'm so glad you joined me today. This is an easy stretch class for when your body's feeling like it needs a little attention and healing. I know I've been feeling a bit under the weather lately, so this is exactly what I'm needing. So find a nice seat. I like to sit on a blanket and sit cross-legged. Some people might like to sit on a block or two with their knees bent this way. It's totally up to you. If you can sit cross-legged, please do that. For this class, we're gonna need two blocks and a belt. And you can pause me if you need to find those things. Um, books work sometimes, sort of blocks, regular belts work, um, whatever you can find at your house. Any blanket that doesn't shift too much works as well. So when you find your seat, please turn inward by closing your eyes. I always start with a little bit of a centering. So when you close your eyes, it makes you much more aware of internal things. So just check and see how you're feeling. And your joints are feeling. Are you feeling physically, mentally, maybe even spiritually? Yoga literally means binding together of body, soul, and mind. And really take a moment to notice the breath moving in. And moving back out. You're able to sit up tall without much, too much effort, just getting your hips underneath your head. This helps you engage a little bit deeper breath. Whereas if you're rounded over, it's really hard to get a full breath. I don't want you to force the breath in and out, but I do want you to think to yourself, can I really feel my lungs fill to the brim? And then empty completely on the exhale. Feel the movement in your body as you breathe, maybe your lungs. Feel your rib cage expand in front and the back and sides. Maybe even feel your spine extend a little bit. Maybe you feel more grounded through all parts of your body that are touching the floor. And I truly believe that when you take the time to really check in internally with yourself, it makes your whole life a lot better. Find that inner peace and love the true you deep down inside. That's what all those around you want to know and see. Please bring hands to heart center. Just bow towards your heart, which is known as the seat of your soul. And we all take the time to find this quiet space within us. Take the time to notice that there is beauty and grace all around us, within us, and within others. And slow your hands 
keeping your eyes closed and sitting nice and tall, just lengthen the back of your neck and tuck your chin down towards your chest. And then slowly let your head roll over to the side so your right ear is close to your right shoulder. And then slowly roll the head forward again, lengthening the back of the neck through the center and then over to the opposite side. So left ear towards left shoulder. Let's do that one more time. Right ear toward right shoulder. And then this time extend your left arm back couple ways when you look when back feel more stretch in one side here and rolling back through center bringing the arm back in roll to the other side and extend the right arm back in space and coming back Towards the center with that nice long back of neck. Lift your head straight up. Open your eyes with an inhale, stretch your arms up. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. And inhale, stretch them up. Exhale, bring your right hand to the center of the neck or between your shoulder blades. If you have that flexibility, bend your right hand and place it on, or in your left hand, place it on the right elbow. Press that stretch, just notice. You're still staying long through your spine. On your next inhale, stretch both arms up and switch. So left hand to the middle, right hand to the elbow. Your next inhale, stretch both arms up. Bring your right hand off to the side and just arc towards that right hand with you. Now, if you're up, if you're up higher and you need a block under that hand, use that. So it's not as intense. Many of you going through treatments and maybe need a little bit more space. Or breath. And on your next inhale, stretch both arms up. And let's go to the opposite side. Keeping both sit bones grounded. Breathing. That stretch. Now let's come back to the first thing. So inhale, come up. Exhale, right hand down again. Arc. So your shoulders are square to the front. The hips are square to the front. Now I'm going to have you keep the hips where they are, but turn your shoulders so they're square to the knee and bring the hand down to your left hand. Your right hand's on the left side of the knee. Squaring your chest up to the Inhale, come on back up. Exhale, let's do that to the other side. So arc. And then turning to face that knee at that angle. Oops, stay grounded. Still nice. Stretch down. Stretch both arms up. Bring the arms to a T position. And you're just going to do opposite arm rolls. So one arm rolls out. Yeah. Yeah. 
and then stretch to the side of the outward spiraled arm. And switch. Oh, that's good. And Both arms back up and bring hands down. Come up to your knee and bring your toes and sit back on your heels. Now, if that doesn't work with your knee, you can just come up on your knees. I'm going to sit on my heels and just take a moment to feel the stretch in your feet and then just start to roll the shoulders forward and then back. Reach your arms out, touch your shoulders with your arms, and then just make circles with your elbows. Forward, and then back. Now my feet are really starting to talk to me. So let's release and come to forest position. Stretch your feet long. Might want to widen your knees a little bit. And you do what you can to sit back to a child's pose. Now, some people, their knees won't bend like that, so they just keep their butt up and come down like so. Or if you have enough mobility in your knees, you can come all the way down. And stretch your arms out in front of you. Walk your fingers forward even a little bit more. So your hands, your elbows, your shoulders are lifting. And then place your palms down. Come up enough that you can reach your right hand, clear over on top of your left, and then come back down. Keep stretching your right hip to the right. Feel a big stretch inside your body. Good, and then we'll come on up to switch. So left hand, left hand to the right. Left hip stretches. And come on back to center and come on up, side up to an all fours position. So when I say all fours, I mean knees under hips. Hands under shoulders, and then just spread the weight on your hands so that you're not just dumping it right into your wrist. And then start with a cow pose. Lay your back so it feels like a cow. Lengthening and isometrically pulling the hands and the knees forward towards each other. And forward, but I meant towards each other. Good, and then round two, cat pose. So tuck the tail, draw your belly button towards your spine, press the hands and the knees away from each other. And then with your breath, just do that a few times, just alternating. So inhale, out, inhale. Good, and then pause and make sure you have a flat position. And then stretch your right leg straight and just keep it lifted first. So feel like your hips stay square to the floor. You're lifting from the belly of your hamstrings. Okay, now place the ball of the foot down and just stretch back through your calf a little bit. Don't get too aggressive. Okay, now you're gonna lift 
that leg up again and swing it off to the side and bring the foot flat. And you'll feel an inner thigh stretch. Your foot and your knee are in the same plane. Just kind of move forward and back a few times. Just feeling that stretch. I like to feel the little toe side of my foot grounded, stretching the ankle, the inner thigh, everywhere. And then pause, keep your core strong, lift that leg back behind you and then bring it off to the opposite side. So you're on the ball of your foot there on the opposite side. And you're just gonna keep a long spine, maybe twist and look at it, you'll feel it. Right of your body. Good, and then we'll lift it back up, extend it straight back and come back to all fours position, we'll switch sides. So extend the left leg, lift, you can point and flex a few times, just feeling it. And then set the ball of the foot down, stretch through your calf. Don't get too aggressive. <laughs> Good, and then lift that foot up and swing it off to the side, bring the foot down. You feel all parts of that foot grounded and then maybe if it feels good to you, you can move forward and back to stretching the different parts of the inner leg. And then pause, bring that leg all the way back behind you and off to the opposite side. Just take a minute to feel a nice long spine. You always want to lengthen your spine first and then you feel a stretch on the side of your body. Lengthen it up. Breathe. And then lifting the leg for you. Knee back underneath you and take a child's pose. Let your hand and wrist rest now. Forehead to the floor. Come up to a seated position. And bring your legs wide. This is called Upavista Konasana. I'm just going to check and see, do I need to inner spiral the leg so that both my knees and my kneecaps, my kneecaps and my feet are pointing up. And then bring the hands behind you and just lengthen up tall. Good, now turn and face your right leg. So your, your left hand comes to the middle, the right hand comes to the outside of the leg and you're just looking at that leg. You're noticing that it's stretched straight out. This leg stays grounded and focused forward. And then just see how that feels. It's a nice little twist. You feel it. Draw your low belly up. Sit tall. Now, if you want more stretch for the back of your leg, you can bring the inside hand to the outside of the shin and maybe fold over that leg a little bit. If you're really flexible, you might reach your ankle or your foot. A moment. Come on back up. Come back to center. Just make sure you're really tall. And then twist your core. Your hips and your legs stay the same. You're just facing the opposite leg. 
feeling it out. And if you want more stretch, you can bring the hands to the outside of the knee, the shin, the ankle, or the foot. Come back to center. Lengthen up tall again. And then this time, you're just going to turn, twist to the middle. So we twisted towards the leg. Now we're going to twist to the middle. So turn and face your left leg, and then just lean towards your right leg. Bring the elbow on top. You can bring the opposite hand to your hip. Or if you want more stretch, stretch the arm up and over. You can always bring the elbow to the inside of the leg. You're still feeling it, your belly, your chest, face inward. So we're going to come all back up and we'll do that to the opposite side. So Facing that opposite leg, just bring your elbow to the other leg, opposite hand to the hip, and then lean that way, see where it takes you. I like to, I, I have a lot of openness in my hamstrings, I've told you, so I like to grab my big toe, my chest, my belly, my face, turn inward. And add the opposite arm if you'd like. Just bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet together. And I just have to kind of bring my hands behind me and think, I'm going to sit on my sit bone. So it's like I have to rotate my pelvis forward. And then I can get in a position where I feel like I have some leverage to open my knees and use my core strength. I like to reach under my ankles so that I can use the strength of my core to open the knees. This is called Baga Kanasana or Cobbler's Pose. I think it's interesting because um, it's called that because uh, cobblers, they make shoes, right? And they used to sit with the, the shoe they're making between their feet, hold it with their feet. This is you know, a long time ago so that they could work on it. So that's why it's cobblers. And then slowly close your knees and find your blocks, please. And bring those underneath your hands. So you're in all fours, but the blocks are under your hands. And then step your right foot forward. So your right heel is in line with your right sit bone. Your left heel and knee are in line with your left sit bone. And then you just feel that stretch. Ooh. Deep stretch. Your right hip crease draws back so you stay in a good line. Get all four corners of your right foot grounded. I like to hug my knee towards my heel and my heel towards my knee. Maybe you can bring your hand on Get a little bit deeper stretch, feel like you're strong enough, maybe extend the left arm up even. Good, and then touch down. Hands on the block, 
slide your hips back to straighten your right leg and notice how I'm flexing the foot on my right foot. And I still want to keep heel, knee, sits bone lined up on both sides. So the hips stay square to the front. It seems like when you get in this position, your hips want to swing to the left. I want you to make a conscious effort to keep them lined up. And I want you to notice, I try to keep a little baby bend in this outstretched leg just to keep it safe. I don't want to hyperextend the knee. And just feel in your hammies. If it doesn't feel like much and you want to hold over it, you can, or even stretch the toes. Just keep drawing the leg into the socket. Good, then back into the front knee, walk the blocks back out. And come all the way back to the all fours position so that you can switch the left foot forward. Up to the mid left. Keeping the hips square, the right hip crease in line with the left. Maybe hands to the knee. Maybe even stretch the right arm up. And an additional stretch on that hip flexor. And then reach down, find the blocks again. Slide your hips back, straightening the left leg now. Drawing it into the socket, keeping everything lined up, maybe folding and stretching the toes. Keep to the side, how far you go. Don't let your hips swing to the right, keep them lined up. I were doing it, I saw it. <laughs> and then bend back into the front knee. Hands on the blocks. Now this time, lift your back knee. You're in a deep lunge position. And then step back to a downward facing dog. Your hands are on the blocks supporting you. You can bend your knees, send your thumb up towards the sky, lengthen out. And now slowly walk your feet forward. You want to stay balanced. Up to a forward fold. If your hamstrings are really tight, keep your hands on the block. You can even move them out in front. And then bend your knees. Bring your hands on your knees. Slowly press into your feet and come on up to the Now I want you to find a wall or the back of a couch or chair, just somewhere where you can hold on to something so you feel like you're not going to fall over. You can use the wall. You don't have to use it. It's just um, if you want to use it. Good. So now, standing on your right foot, just lift your left heel. And say to yourself, okay, I'm going to balance and keep everything facing front. I'm going to use my core and then lift the knee and bring it down. Two points, foot, flex the foot and bring it down. Three point, flex, down. Four point, flex. Um, and five point flex. Good. Switch. You can still, you can switch sides so that it's easier to hang on if you want to, or you can just face the same way. And then lift, point, flex, down. Use your core, lift, point, flex. Three, flex, and four, point, flex. Good. 
Good, now going back to the first side. With standing on the right foot, you're gonna lift the knee, the side knee, the leg back, point, flex, down, two, point, down, three, point, flex, down, four, point, flex, down, that's one. Five, one, flex. Switch to the other foot. If you need to switch sides, you can. Lift just the foot down, point, flex, down. Two, point, flex, down. Three, point, flex, down. Four, point, flex, down and five. Yeah. Good. Now we're going to add a little twist to it. So hang on to the wall for this one. You're going to stand on your right foot, lift the left foot, bring it back. And then reach back with your right hand to find the foot at the quad stretch. Use your core strength to stand tall. Now, as you release the foot, keep it back there. Bring it forward. Okay, switch. Bring the right leg forward, back, grab it with your left hand if possible, or you can grab the your pant leg, lengthen tall, and that little quad stretch. As you release it, keep the leg there, bring the knee forward. Come on back to your mask. And come down to a seated position. And if, if you like sitting on the blanket just to um, get a little higher, that always feels good to me. And I'm gonna have you grab one block. This is just a quad strengthener. And you're gonna bring it under your knee, but kind of on the upper side of your knee. And then, this is um, something you can do when you're watching TV or anytime. So you're gonna sit tall. Just bring your um, hands on the muscles, your quad muscles. And as you lift the foot, just kind of notice if you're evenly using all of your quads. So do that, squeeze the muscles, even lift the kneecap as you lift and lower. And keep going to and then switch. You can do lots more because this is, you know, I don't know, it might be hard, it might be easy. As we get older, our quads get weaker. That's why you see people that are older shuffle their feet because they can't lift their legs. So we want to prevent that, right? So sit up nice and tall and just start going. Squeeze the muscles, see if you can lift the kneecap and lower. Two, If they're working evenly, one leg might feel different than the other. Seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. Squeeze it and release. Good. Now move the blocks out of the way. Find your belt. And go ahead and lay on your back. And just for fun, bring your arms to cactus. Bring your feet wide and just let your kind of come together in the middle. So you feel a relaxation in your low belly. Feel a little curve in your low back. Feel the knees supporting each other. A little bit of relaxation. Bring the knees up, bring the feet right underneath the knees. Bring your right ankle across your left thigh. Now, if this feels like a lot of work in your hip, then stay here. If you want a little more stretch, you can reach up and release the hands behind your left thigh. And then relax your shoulders and your head back down. See how it feels. It's called baby cradle. The whole idea is to just turn the femur bone side to the back of the body. Now bring that foot down. Grab your belt and bring it on the ball of your right foot. So think the ball includes the big toe mount and all and the little toe mounts, both sides. And then reach up with your right hand on the belt. So right hand, right foot. You see how that feels. You might have to back off a little bit if you have tight hamstrings. And then press the belt into your foot and resist with your foot. So I call this a point. So you're flexing, but pressing, right? Then see about extending your left leg, bringing your left arm out to the side because you want that whole left side to stay grounded. And then you're slowly going to bring the right foot off to the right, only far enough that you can keep everything else grounded. You come to a spot where you can rest your elbow on the floor. Feels kind of nice. Take a breath or two, my left leg is anchored down. If it's too intense, you can keep the left knee bent. Left shoulders grounded. Good. And then slowly bring it back up. Switch hands. So your right arm comes off to the right side. And you have the belt with your left hand. Keep the point. Bring the leg across your body slightly. You're going to feel it in your IT bands all the way up and down the outside of your right leg. Feels more like an ache in this more than anything. Right foot stays grounded. Good. And lengthen back to center. Release the towels. We'll do that on the other side. So both knees bent, both feet flat, bring the left ankle over the right thigh. You can set the belt down for a moment. You want to interlace. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Keep your foot flex. Good, and then Placing your foot down, bring the belt across the ball of your left foot. Holding it, 
with your left hand, maybe extending the right. So you'll, you want to keep a little curve in your low back. Bring your right arm off to the side. Everything's grounded, maybe bring the foot off to the left. Feels like a good inner thigh stretch and keep grounded through the whole right side of the body. Legs grounded in the side. Come on back to center, switch hands, left arm off to the side, keep the point. Bring the leg across just a little bit. It's only it's very slight. You let your IT hand. Back to center. Release the leg. Just bring the feet right under the knees. Hands by your hips. And just press into your feet and lift up to a bridge pose. Just for a moment. And then lower back down. I like to pause here and do a couple windshield wipers. Just letting, keeping the feet wide, just bringing the knees side to side. Allowing the low back to relax. See how open your hips are. And then go ahead and stretch your legs down. <laughs> go ahead and stretch up for Shavasana. Just settle in, allowing yourself to relax. Shavasana is the time when you can really let go. Just relax all of your muscles. Sink into the floor. If you have time, please stay there for a good 10 minutes. I'm going to sign off, so please stay longer. But I'd like to close with a little reading that is from Marianne Williamson's book, A Year of Miracles. When things in the world are troubling, my need is not to join in the chaos, but to cleave to the peace within. The way to, way to gain power in a world that is moving too fast is to learn to slow down. The only way to spread one's influence wide is to learn to go deep. The world I want for myself will not emerge from electronic state, but rather from the spiritual stillness that takes root in my soul. Then, and only then, can I create a world that delights my spirit instead of one that shatters. It's been my privilege to guide you through this yoga practice, this beautiful practice of Hatha Yoga. Thanks for practicing with me. Namaste.